last stage, stage four of Jean Piaget's um, stages of cognitive development. So let's see how the brain develops in this last stage. And of course, it's the stage you're going to be very familiar with because it's the stage that teenagers are in. All right, so let's let's name it first. It is called the formal operational stage, so formal logical thinking. So we went from sensory motor, then we went to pre-operational, and then we go to concrete operational, and then now we're at formal operational and formal think like like it's the problem it's 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 a formal so like formal means like it's at a higher stage it's something that happens when you're a teenager all right so 12 age 12, ages 12 and up so this is more like middle school um and we start to see that rational thinking happens now what does it mean to think rationally rational thinking what does it mean well rationality implies the conformity of one's beliefs with one um with one's reasons to believe and with one's actions with one's reasons for action so like what you say matches with what you do you have reasons for why you believe and you have reasons for why you act that is rational that's like it's a rational reason if someone's acting if someone says you're irrational then like the reason why you did something doesn't really make any sense you're being irrational you should be able to come up with a rational thought about why you did something whereas if you ask a five-year-old why they did something like they can't really tell you why <laughs> i mean but uh this stage they should be able to all right um also abstract thinking now that can happen abstract thinking is now possible so uh, ideas that they have to think about and come up with ideas, even though they don't have the experience of it, that's something they can do. Uh, another type of thinking that's possible is hypothetical, where they give you a situation. Let me give you a hypothetical situation. It doesn't really exist, and they should be able to think through that and say, well, in that hypothetical, this could happen. So they come up with like, you know, again, bizarre, different situations, and they're able to use those and come up with some sort of conclusion or prediction. Um, watch this high school kid showing abstract, hypothetical type thinking. I'm just going to watch part of this. All right, so stage four. And she asked Enzo for a few questions to gauge his abstract and logical thinking abilities, two qualities that appear in early adolescence, which is your teenage years. Okay, Enzo, how old are you? 17. All right. If you had Don't screw up, Enzo. Probably in the back of my head. Oh. What? I can see behind me and in front of me at all times. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. Eye in the back of your head. Children under 11 might reply forehead because I can't think of anywhere else one might have an eye. So he can think abstractly. If Kelly is taller than Allie and Allie is taller than Joe, who is the tallest? Kelly. Yeah, okay, good. He can think logically and abstractly without having to use paper or real people as symbols. Children under 11 would struggle to do so that requires abstract thinking skills. All right, so that just shows you a couple of examples of this type of thinking, abstract thinking. All right, next, um, identity of self is more clear. Like understanding who you are as a person, what you believe, what you're – that kind of goes along with that thinking rationally. So you have much more clear sense of, of, of who you are. By the way, this is also as we get up in the older ages, usually bullying starts to – wane more because people are now more comfortable with themselves they don't feel like they need to go out and make other people feel bad for who they are or at least theoretically that's how it's supposed to work all right um also we get um instead of inductive reasoning we get deductive reasoning where you get two statements that may or may not be true but you're able to logically come up with a conclusion deductive reasoning you get two statements and you logically can come up with a conclusion um watch this video and you're going to see first a child who can't do this because they're in stage three and then you'll see a child that can do it um watch this this is great it says if you hit a glass with a hammer the glass will break <laughs> and then this one says don hit a glass with a hammer so what happened to the glass it broke. It broke. Why did it break? Because the hammer's hard. That's obvious, if right? If you hit a glass with a feather, oh. the glass will break. Here's the duct. And this is the second rule. Don hit a glass with a feather. What happened to the glass? Nothing. Nothing happened? Why didn't anything happen? Because there's several shots. So he can't come up with that. Like, he got rules, but he still couldn't do it. First one says, 
says, this girl gets a glass with a feather, the glass will break. And the second one, Don hit a glass with a feather. What happened to the glass? It broke. And why did it break? Because I love feathers. If you hit a glass with a feather, it'll break. Because if you hit a glass with a feather, it broke. So she was able to follow the logic of it. Matter of fact, she I, I kind of laugh because the girl like rolls her eyes. She's like, oh, my goodness. I mean, come on now. Um, so, yeah, she's able to do it. It seems really easy for her because the boy, he couldn't get off of the literalness. Like literally a uh, breaking a glass with a hammer is obvious. So he could he could follow that because it was literal. But like the abstract thinking like, oh, you you get a rule, hit it with a feather, it breaks. You know, Schmo hits it with a feather, a break. He couldn't follow that because it was abstract. And so that shows the uh, advance in learning in stage four. All right. Morality is also developed. And morality is your sense of right and wrong. Your ability to tell right from wrong. And you get a sense of um, justice. You know, a sense that that things need to be right or what is wrong when someone gets, uh, you know, is treated wrongly. And then also we begin, and this goes along with the kind of a waning of bullying typically as you move through the high school years, um, at least hopefully for students that actually mature, um, is that we begin to understand others and we act more compassionately. There's a lot more compassion in older adolescents than, than kids that are in the um, middle school years. All right, so uh, that kind of sums up stage Four, formal operational stage. You're going to have a lot to sort. You've got to keep it straight. There's only one way to do it, and that's practice, practice, practice.